Hi again, this is James from World War II Jeep and Rifle. And once again, I have a, a video today that has nothing to do with World War II or, G, uh, or rifles. But for the uh, later Jeeps, like the M151, M151A2, um, in the Vietnam era, even more recent military vehicles still used the uh, Prick 77 radio systems. That's this box right here. This component is the radio with the receiver and transmitter. Um, the mount for the vehicle includes this uh, power supply and speaker amplifier along with a, a, uh, a mounting system here to actually uh, bolt it to the vehicle dash. So it's sort of three components. The radio, what's called the amplifier, in this case an AM1777. Uh, similar, also available would be an AM2060. And then the mount. This is an MT1029. Some things that I noticed about this that I thought were really interesting are that this system has the markings of an Austrian military system. You can see the uh, the little sticker here with the Eagle BH-23. <clears throat> this is from Austria. BH stands for Bundesheer, which means Federal Army, and 23 is probably the battalion. So we have uh, a military radio from Austria <clears throat> that was part of a vehicle system. And another, another key uh, clue here is that this is a modified Prick 77 using what's called X mode that allows you to get twice as many channels uh, as a standard US military radio by giving you a 25 kilohertz spacing option instead of the default 50 kilohertz spacing. spacing. So in, in general, this radio system is capable of transmitting between 30 megahertz and 75.95 megahertz with 50 kilohertz spacing. With this X mode, you can double the, the number of channels available with, uh, with this switch. <laughs> Inside the box, there's a lot of different modules. So this is, this is not you know, just, a, just a, a little switch and, and that's the only difference. There's a lot of different electronics to make that, that spacing uh, capable. But uh, anyway, first one of these I've actually had my hands on. Um, the, uh, I guess the next thing to say here is that this uh, AM1777, allows you to power the radio off of vehicle power that would be 24 volt vehicle power instead of off the battery which is you know just either some sort of a rechargeable or dry cells that uh, is part of the radio unit so you don't have to have a battery in the radio at all and you can see this tether for the power supply from the uh, am1777 to the radio that uh, that cabling allows you to convert vehicle power to the uh, levels needed to power the radio. Um, this, this mount also provides an external speaker. Instead of only being <coughs> able to uh, listen over the earpiece of your handset or with an external loudspeaker, this provides you audio amplification. So it says amplifier. It's, it's not a signal amplifier. This is an audio amplifier. And, and the volume control on the radio uh, adjusts the volume in this external speaker. This mount here, the MT1029, can either hold a larger kind of all-in-one RT524 radio or this Prick 77 amplifier combination, as you see here. So anyway, this is the whole setup. Um, pretty cool, interesting to see European military equipment that uh, evolved from the original American uh, systems. And this Prick 77 has, uh, has had a very, very long life uh, across the world. So really useful uh, piece of hardware that has uh, been in the hands of a lot of veterans. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll keep making more. Subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think. Talk to you later.